So on to CephFS. So some common uses for CephFS is uh, shared file storage, content repos, shared scratch space, um, features, again, scalable, highly available, supports snapshots. Um, it's also what underpins NFS and SMB gateways. And it's easy to deploy uh, the MDS services via our GUI. And I am going to select three specifically and uh, we'll talk about that later. So while it's creating the CephFS uh, uh, MDS servers, uh, we're going to take a quick detour to pools. Earlier, I mentioned that depending on some, some things that you deploy, uh, pools will automatically be created for you. Um, so that is the case here. So we have automatically created CephFS data, data and CephFS metadata. So uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's common to uh, place your actual data if you have HDD drives on the HDD drives and the Ceph, uh, CephFS metadata on your NVMe drives. And so we have taken that consideration for you. This can be configured, um, we can change it, but again, with just uh, our best practices, um, we try to make things easy out of the box. We also have a built-in file explorer, so it's easy to make folders like so. We can also make uh, use of extended file system attributes like setting a pool um, specific to each folder. So you could have a, a, you know, an erasure code uh, folder. You could have a replication three folder all within uh, the same folder structure. And if we click on a folder and edit, we can see some of the attributes that we can change. Again, um, if we had multiple CephFS data pools, um, we would be able to select that here. We would be able to, uh, if we had a namespace set up, uh, specify this folder for that namespace. Uh, we can also uh, change the permissions and the quotas for this folder. In addition to that, we can see what clients are using the uh, folders, and we can do things like evict. Um, there are no real clients right now, uh, just the Kreut servers themselves, but uh, you do get a bit of information. There's the kernel, what they're consuming, for example, in this case, uh, the entire mount, if this were a client that just had access to that slash test that we created, uh, you would see that here as well. You can see the user keyring that is being used and uh, an evict. We can also manage our MDS configuration. Um, earlier, I specifically said that I was doing three, so our support recommends one active, one replay, and one standby replay, which we configure for you automatically. Um, generally, this is, a, this is a good practice. The only time you need multiple active uh, MDSs is if, basically just if one active isn't able to keep up. Uh, and for the most part, that's just in very, very busy environments. So this is an example of information that varies wildly on the internet, um, but this recommendation comes from our 400 plus customers. So um, we oftentimes know the most dependable ways of doing things, which is a huge strength from our standpoint. Um, and with that knowledge, we can make prudent decisions uh, in our management software. We can also create snapshot schedules.
And that's it for CephFS.